This week at Aldersgate, we started a new series called We Believe. And over the next few weeks, we're going to be breaking down four of the key principles that we live by here. This week, we started with found people, find people. And Ryan shared a little bit about how just a simple invitation can bring somebody into the kingdom of God and change their lives forever. I wanted to share a little bit with you about how I came to know Jesus and become part of the kingdom. When I was 11 years old, my dad had a heart attack, which caused him to be disabled. And so we moved from our home in Garden City, Kansas, back to Clarendon, Texas, which we had lived at before, but had left, I think, six years before. Upon coming back into a small town, it's hard to get to know people. And all the friends that I thought I knew and that I remembered from being little didn't remember me. And so it was hard for me to make friends. We hadn't been there but a few weeks and there was a knock on our door one Sunday evening and it was our friends the Ellerbrooks. My mom's friend Betsy, along with her two sons, Lewis and Lowell, came to the door and simply asked if I wanted to go to youth group that night. And it was nothing but a pool party. I don't remember us even talking about Jesus. But what I do remember is that I got plugged in. And I remember going back to youth group multiple times that summer. And I was eventually invited to church camp. I went with a group of people that I remembered from being little, but like I said, they didn't remember me. And over the week, they separated themselves and kind of excluded me from everything they did. But it was also that week that I made new friends. And that Thursday night, I can remember the pastor giving, at that point, what was the most explicit graphic description of the crucifixion that I'd ever heard. It was that night that the Holy Spirit came upon me. And at the end of the, at the, end of the message, the pastor said very simply, this is what Jesus did for you. What are you willing to do for him? And that was the point at which I gave my life to Jesus. My life had never been the same since. Um, I went to youth group, I went to church, um, I've gone to dozens and dozens of camp and now I'm employed at a church to lead worship. None of that is what really matters. What mattered more than anything else is that somebody came to my door and simply said, hey, do you want to go? Do you want to be a part? Can we invite you in? That one question right there is what changed my whole life. So it's not hard. It's just, do you want to be a part? Can we love you? Simple questions can make all the difference in the world.